there, TikToks, family, and friends. I know I look like a mess. It's because we are currently in the situation of moving. And, oh gosh, the house is echoing right now because it's so empty. I'm saying goodbye to my friend, the kitchen. <laughs> You've been a good kitchen to me, kitchen. And dining and all these things and my living room. You've been such a blessing, living room. Many Christmases and birthdays and celebrations and bringing home my baby Gabriel <clears throat> was one of those celebrations. And um, yeah, whoever lives in here next, I pray that you are blessed and well nourished through this home. And I can't wait to show you guys my new home and um, a little explanation, story, background for that um, coming next. And um, I'm excited for the new adventure that God is going to be blessing us with. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. And yeah, till next time, come back to Tech Talks and you'll find out more. Hi there, friends and family of YouTube. Welcome back to Tech Talks Podcast. And I am showing you my view of my new backyard. So I just wanna let you know, it's been almost a week, to, a one week tomorrow, um, we will be here. And you guys, I just, I'm not trying to brag or anything, but I just wanna let you know, this is how serious I am about um, doing YouTube and doing devotionals and trying to encourage other uh, people with their faith. I got, I mean, I'm pretty much everything unpacked, pictures on the wall, everything organized in less than a week. I spent around 12 to 14 hours a day. By the time they let us open the house, which was about a week ago, um, I spent every moment that I could uh, to unpack and organize and put up pictures and stuff just so that I can get that out of the way so that I can like come up with more content for you guys to encourage you. Um, so um, yeah, <laughs> I've been working really hard. That's why I don't really look all that great. I look like um, a mess right now, so, but that doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> So at the end of this video, I plan to do just a quick little collage video of our new home. And there's something I want to talk to you guys about that I had written in Little Things Matter uh, devotional for women's book. And God reminded me of this and I think it's so cool. And I want to show you something that things do come to pass dreams do happen it may take years it may take a while but i want to encourage you because the lord reminded me of something that i had written and published in my book and i'll tell you in a minute what that is so earlier i discussed something with you something that i was reminded by the holy spirit and um in my book little things matter it's a um little woman's devotional that I wrote a few years back and I I was reminded about some things in chapter 12 the chapter is called the God of suddenly and it's funny because during that time I kept thinking about the God of suddenly like suddenly good things just pop up out of nowhere and I talked about that in this in this um, chapter and I tell a story about how suddenly a friend of mine blessed us with some money and it made me so happy and so joyful and and so thankful that I decided to take some of that money and give it to other people I knew that could use a little boost as well because I figured this was God's money anyway um, and I kind of go on talking about on page 75, I believe. Well, this is my author's copy, so sometimes your copy might be a little bit changed, so. But it's in this chapter. 
And I, I'm just gonna read some things. I'm gonna kind of hodgepodge read some things because I don't want to, you know, kind of waste your time of me reading a whole chapter. So my husband and I have been tinkering with the idea of owning a small acreage, large enough to have a big garden and chickens for eggs. We want to enjoy land that is spread out to play and fish on. I told him that I do not want to be, um, I do not want any debt. I want to achieve this without going into debt, either with or without owning an acreage. Um, and then I, I just talked about that a little bit. And, and then I and then I was talking about um, whether whether or not we should pursue um, this dream. And I was concerned about asking God for favor and gifting such a grand thing. And I wondered, who am I, at, who am I to ask for such a big thing? Um, and I, I just kind of talked about, you know, my insecurities about asking God for big things like that and dreaming about an acreage and stuff like that. Um, since I began dreaming about an acreage, I, I keep seeing hopeful little signs that God is listening to our desires. And then I talk about you know, after James and I had our conversation about asking God for this big gift, um, I, I just want to talk to you about um, a little conversation that I wrote in here that kind of gave me a clue that God gave me a little, uh-huh, I'm, I'm listening, just keep believing, keep trusting. So, and in here, if you have to read it for yourself, that... I put in here that um, when when James and I were talking about this little farm acreage thing, um, we had also had a conversation about getting our son Elijah a small desk for his room. And um, then later I explained that a desk, a little desk, a little blue desk, uh, so cute, little old school desk, a little chair in the back with a um, table, you know, desk tabletop in front, you know. Um, a friend of mine pointed out, she goes, oh my gosh, look there, there's a desk. I go, oh my gosh, uh, James and I were just talking about getting Elijah a desk. And then here, come, and here suddenly, um, a desk pops up on the side of the road. So I picked it up and um, I freshened it up with some spray paint, you know, royal blue and fixed it up, cleaned it up um, because it was right around the holidays, right around Christmas time. And I was like, oh, this is gonna be so fun. Anyway, um, during that time with the previous conversation of getting Elijah a desk and the, on top of the um, conversation of dreaming for an acreage, I felt like the Lord just said, see, I hear you. I'm, I'm more than willing to give you uh, what you want or you desire and just, you know, ask, you know, and, and stuff like that. So he, he in a way, he kind of used that dust to help boost my faith. And I also call it um, joyous hope. It just kind of gave me joyous hope. And um, then I, I went back to talking about the dream of having a little acreage and all that stuff. And I, I talked about this in, um, like I talked about the how to's and to, what does it mean to hope and to expect good and, and to keep joyously trusting and all these things. Well, I just want to say, I found it kind of funny and interesting that this is now, it's now, it came into fruition. I even talked about how I wanted to get this property um, debt free, well, mainly out of like credit card debts and stuff like that. We still have a mortgage and, you know, we're not completely debt free, but debt free meaning to me is like no more other small little baggages strings along with us. And, um, we were able to do that, which is amazing. Um, and God is so good. I had tears of joy the other day looking around going, oh my gosh, 
We have now three acres, which is plenty for a garden and some chickens and for the kids to run around and be kids. Um, do we have a pond? No, but there's one across the street. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, I, I just feel so grateful and it gave me so much hope and God pointed it out. He, he was, don't you remember talking about this and that um, you wrote about it and now it came to pass and it's just like, wow, you know, thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. So keep the faith, keep joyous hope alive. And um, you can always find hope no matter how bleak or dark your situation is, because if you believe in Jesus, um, he's, he's your tower and beacon of hope. I hope this has blessed you. Um, if it has, plus press press <laughs> like and then please share at least with one friend just to kind of help YouTube know that um, that you like seeing uh, faith encouragement here on YouTube you like um, this kind of content and it lets YouTube know um, to push this to the top uh, of the list so that others can be encouraged as well um, also side note I just want to let you know that um we're going to be taking a break from a book but we will eventually get into a book i just haven't come across one because um i have been moving and cleaning and doing all kinds of things um but i would like to have suggestions thrown in the comments please suggest some books so i can pray about it look it over and we'll get into that and keep encouraging each other um, in their faith journey with the Lord. And I'll see you next time here at Tech Talks Podcast. Bye-bye.